even in the toughest of times, walk slow. When you're feeling good, you can pick up the pace. When things are going, pick up the pace. But when stuff get tough, depend on the people that's around you that you've built these great relationships with to support you. But walk slow. Progress is progress, fast or slow. Mm. Just keep moving. I'm here at Atlantic City Hall where city officials are sparking a transition to renewable energy with the help of community members and companies alike. Electricity solutions like solar are critical not only to shift production and enhance efficiency, but to move the broader transition forward. How could you use your energy to contribute to the broader community's climate solutions and in the process help the world reach drawdown? Today I'm talking with Tanya Hicks, who is an electrician, a true trailblazer, and the creator of Power Solutions, using her energy, using her personal resilience, and using collaboration to help the city of Atlanta move climate solutions forward. Thank you, Tanya, oh, for being here, for us doing this. And I just want to ask, uh, who are you? I'm a boy mom. I'm an electrician. I have two sons. Yeah. My oldest son is about to be 29, and my youngest son is 16. And I'm a serial entrepreneur. And I know sometimes people, especially when you're an entrepreneur, like, why do you mention you're a mom? Because I started my company with my first son being six years old, and I'm a single mom with two kids. So who I am comes from a lot from having to take care of them. And I think like being a mom is like being a superhero. Mm -hmm. We can't even take our cape off. We can't even have a Clark Kent moment because yeah. you got to stay in that mode of needing to handle stuff. Everyone has their own real world superpowers that you have to tap into or that they oh, have yeah. to tap into. And sometimes it's hard to see that you could be the person wearing the cape. What did you want to be when you were growing up? And how did you grow up? Like, what was family like? And where, could you just tell me more about where you even grew up specifically? In I grew up in Meridian, Mississippi. Right. I grew up in the project, so I was a single mom. You know how some kids play teachers, some people play church. We play business. I was going to be always a boss. I was going to be running a business. I'm going to travel the world. And I'm doing, And I'm doing exactly what I said I was going to do. My uncle went to college to be an industrial mechanic at Meridian Community College. And I was a little kid. But while he would work on motors, he would let me pass him the tools. Just imagine me in sundresses with oily nails, under cars. My grandma used to be so mad. Yeah. But that's what I lived for every day when he would come home from work and I could help him work on something. Mm -hmm. And so that would spark my interest as early as five years old, being able to help my uncle Melvin. Yeah. But my grandmother, I spent a lot of time with her and she taught me so much. And I remember I got a math scholarship to go to Central, Central State University in Ohio. And after my sophomore year, during, well, during my sophomore year, the professor, I wanted to work for the Pentagon, cracking codes as a mathematician. Yeah. And he, he said, um, they don't hire women to do that. And it was just such a, I don't know, I just felt like the world was about to end. I don't know, cause he told me, he wanted me to focus on being a teacher. Uh, yeah. Which, teachers are great, yeah. but, but. That's not yeah. what you wanted to do. Exactly, so that summer I went home and I remember telling my grandmother, Professor such and such said they don't hire women to that. She said, that man don't know what he's talking about. Women do everything. She said, we just never got the credit and couldn't make the money. And so I took that with me. So and I worked on a construction site as a laborer and I saw industrial electricians during that summer using math the whole time. I was like, I'm gonna do that. But I had to figure out how to do it because I was giving up my math scholarship so the IBW offers a program, a five-year program for free to use you can become a journeyman electrician. I didn't have the luxury of having fear. A lot of people ask me, how did you get over the fear? I didn't even know I could have the fear or it wasn't even a thought. I was always brave enough to go and hungry enough to stay. 
It's nothing they could do to keep me from achieving my goal because they were my goals. Can you talk more about what Power Solutions is and what the work is that you do today? Power Solutions, we provide a digital solutions for energy, sustainability, and building automation. We help companies get a control of their energy costs and help them be more profitable through um, energy efficiency and process efficiency. What's been that journey in, in starting your company and um, just navigating that world as an electrician? First, it was more about people treating you like you so young, you, know, you couldn't know what you know kind of situation. You spend a lot of time at a young age convincing people that you have, you're qualified to do the work. I've always had to be 10 times better to be considered equal. Only 3% of women are electricians. These are numbers from 2019, of course. The training is there, but see how many get hired or how many stay with the companies. Some of the, the culture in the construction is so tough that if you do not have the support of the leadership, you will quit. And a lot of women, especially engineers, they work two or three years and then they leave, and that's why they leave. I'm going back to the neighborhoods and the projects and the stuff, the low income where I come from, to get women into these industries, to help them make more money, to change their lives and the financial uh, trajectory of generations to come. Because I have a company called Women Do Everything, and where we help women get into male-dominated industries to help them make more money. My company is a place for minorities to get the experience they wouldn't be able to get at a white company because of the barriers. So that's, my, that's my main motivation for maintaining my space and growing and scaling is to help more people that look like me. Like I always say representation matters, right? And so do you have any advice for people to find that person or find those people that they can look to as an example? You want to show up where you want to be. So if you're into sustainability or you want to be, subscribing to different people on Reddit, any of the publications, any of the shows, South Face, the Georgia Solar Association, and start showing up volunteering. Get in the mix of it. Yeah. You will find so many people that inspire you. I would say, first of all, do whatever you can to become as become self-aware. You know, not just knowing your strengths and the weaknesses, but knowing what motivates you, what nurtures you. Even in the toughest of times, walk slow. When you're feeling good, you can pick up the pace. When things are going, pick up the pace. But when stuff get tough, Depend on the people that are around you, that you've built these great relationships with to support you. But walk slow, progress is progress, fast or slow. Mm. Just keep moving. You know, you're transforming Atlanta, you're transforming Georgia with the work that you're doing. Um, there's often like climate anxiety that people face. People face climate grief. They feel like, does what I'm doing matter in that sense? How do you navigate um, those kinds of challenges. Just do something. I think sometimes people think that they gotta make a big impact and big, make a difference. But I'm gonna tell you, we've known from all these stories, your presence in a room makes a difference. And when you're in a position, mm -hmm. bring somebody with you. So now, if certain people invite me to the table, I'm like, well, I need to bring somebody with me. And it's just bringing a person that needs some exposure. Let them come on in the room. Tanya, you are an icon. You're a trailblazer. You're a hero. You are a boss. You are a game changer. You are a superhero. You're all the things, really. And I wonder how could people support you and your work? People can follow me at my Instagram and she do everything. Mm -hmm. Other than going to my womendoeverything.com site, helping us to train and support and get more women into male-dominated industry, that would be all the support that I need. Because um, like Power Solutions, that's what I do, but Women Do Everything is who I am. There's a lot of women that sacrifice their opportunity for education and a career to raise their children, and now they want to enter the workforce or, 
or become entrepreneurs to do something, and we're here to support them to do that. Yeah. My name is Tanya Hicks. I'm the president and CEO of Power Solutions. I'm helping the world reach drawdown by providing <laughs> digital solutions for energy, sustainability, and building automation, helping to grow and train a more diverse workforce in the renewable energy industry.